Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Google Forms. Google Forms is a free tool developed by Google. It can be used to create online surveys and for teachers, it provides an easy way to do a quick class check and see which areas of a lesson you need to focus on. You can also turn a Google Form into a graded quiz. Before you continue, I could like to urge you to subscribe to my channel so that you're not left behind in this ever-growing editor community. Keep watching until the end. To open forms, you simply go to drive.google.com and from within your drive, you go to new forms and you choose a blank form once a blank form opens uh, remember we said there are two ways you can use forms you can use them to collect information through a survey or you can use them to uh, make a graded quiz I will quickly go through how to make it a survey so you will give a title Science revision suggestions like that. Description can say give your opinion below. So the first question you can ask the students to first one. So I'm not going to ask for their names since I'm collecting their opinion. So surveys are best conducted anonymously. So choose paragraph so they can be able to list their topics which are challenging and make it required so that uh, they have to fill it in. So you can go to the second question just like that and say in In a scale of one to five, rate our revision. Program. So you can use a linear scale. So you see it already detects what you want to do and it has chosen the linear scale already. So I'll rate number one as worst and number five as uh, best. So I make it required like that. So after doing all this and giving all the questions that you want to give, uh, you can preview to see how your form looks like. To preview, you use this uh, eye icon here. So now you see how your form looks like. Which topic is challenging? They're going to fill in the challenging topic and in a scale they're going to rate uh, either best uh, best or worst depending on what they feel you've done so after rating they click submit and you're done with that so let me fill this one out i can say work was challenging to me and i can say uh, the revision program is the best so you click uh, submit so you see the response has been recorded so if you look here you can see under responses this one that means that one person has responded if there were many people who have already responded to the quiz then you could see the number of people here who have responded to the quiz maybe with 10 you could see 10 here so under responses you can click and see uh, the summary of the responses so you can see question one the topic that uh, was difficult is work and uh, this is the rating 5 uh, that was given. So you can do analysis per question or you can look at the individual learners' uh, responses. So that's how you can use a Google form to collect information uh, through an online survey uh, depending on the topic that uh, you wanted to uh, carry out the opinion.
The second way you can use a Google form is uh, making it a quiz. So to make this uh, Google form a quiz, uh, first we'll give it a title. We we'll say it's quiz one. So then we can say answer. questions like that then now uh, we will ask for the first name of the students remember in the survey we didn't ask for the first name because they were anonymous here we need to ask the name because it's a test so you are going to choose short answer and remember the system detects what you want and it's going to give a choice to use so second name so it's going to be short answer so as you give the first name make it required so that the student must give the names you also make this required so then now you can go to settings and you go to quizzes there's an option of quizzes click on quizzes then click on make it a quiz and these options are going to be active so the options are uh, release grade immediately after each submission so since you're making a graded quiz you can choose to release the grade immediately after the learner submits the, the work or later after manual review so this one you have to turn on email collection whereby you are going to review the work later and give it back to the learners and the learners are going to be notified in their email addresses that the work they submitted has been returned so then uh, there are several options here also you can check uh, in these check boxes the learners can see missed uh, questions the correct answers and the point values for each question so after making it a quiz, you see the total points now appear here. So now let us continue adding questions and see uh, how you're supposed to do that. So you can say define force. So you can say if I have to define force, I can give it for example a multiple choice if you choose multiple choice you have to give the answers that the learner is going to choose from a push and a push that's the first one a push or a pull the third one push or a push what one none of the above so after giving those four options you click on answer key answer key is where now you're going to tell the system which is the correct answer first assign the points so you're going to assign the points here. I could say one to twelve two points. Then the correct answer is a push or a pull. Then I click done. So I make it required. Then I go to the next question. The next question I could say dash is the ability to do work. So that one I could say short answer because it's a short answer question so I'll choose short answer so I'll say uh, go to answer key then I say the correct answer is a uh, energy I'll give several options for example if there's a learner who could give uh, the answer in total lowercase or to uppercase like that so I'll say make all mark all other answers as wrong so I give it uh, maybe another two points I click done 
so also make it required so the students have to fill that question so i go to number three question number three i could say dash is force by unit area so this one i can decide to use a drop down list so that learners can be able to choose from a drop down list you can say force you can say uh, area you can say pressure you can say um, the above so again as usual i'll go to the answer key after that i'll give it the points i give it another two points then i choose the correct answer which is pressure is the force per unit area then i say done then from there make it squared continue like that so suppose you add a question and that question now is a calculation and you see sometimes it's difficult for you to be able to uh, tell whether the learner did the work now in this question the learner can do the work on a paper and take a photo upload it or they can do it on a screen take a screenshot and also uh, upload it as a photo so in this case you go to the answer key you assign how many points like like let's say that's three then you click on done so you're going on to move to question five and say for example match the types of energy and their sources so this one we can use at a multiple choice grid or a checkbox so either so you can say the rows should be the energy that's solar energy then we can say chemical energy and that so the answers i can say I can say the energy sources I can say like uh, food or fuels. Then this one I can say some. Then I'll go to the answer key. Then for solar, I give the correct answer is sun. Chemical, I could say food or fuel. So I give the points as one. one so i click done and i make it required so let us just preview our quiz using this icon here so that's how our quiz looks like so you're going to fill in the name second name define the force you choose the correct answer this one was a short answer so you're going to write the short answer there this one was a drop down so you're going to choose from a list a drop down list then this one was an upload so after the learner does the work they're going to take a photo or a screenshot then they upload it here then finally this is how you use the uh, checkbox grid there are several other options you need to be aware under the settings the first one is collect email addresses you can decide to collect email addresses by checking in that so if you check that box like that you are going to collect email addresses then next uh, you can limit to one response so if it's a test you, you are going to limit it to one response so that one requires uh, the learners to sign in using their email so it's going to collect emails then respondents can edit after submit so you can decide whether they're going to edit or not after submitting 
or seeing a summary of charts or notes. And a presentation, the way the quiz is going to appear to the respondent or the learner, you can decide to show a progress bar so that they can be able to see how they're progressing in the quiz. You can shuffle the question order. And this is important, especially when you have many students and you don't want them to copy from each other. So you can shuffle the question order so that question one is different for every learner. So you can give, leave a personal message. Thank you for answering. So that's how you can leave a personal message so that they can get it after finishing the quiz. Under quizzes, we already saw how to make it a quiz and the options that you are going to uh, take. That's all we had. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment and remember to subscribe. Bye.